here with Helena Kauthausen, who's the director of our new show, Uncle Vanya. Um, I just wondered if you could tell us a little bit about um, your adaptation of, of this classic play. Well, to begin with, I must say that Uncle Vanya is everybody's favourite Chekhov for all kinds of reasons, because it's both the saddest and the funniest of all his plays. The reason why I adapted it was that I always feel that a translation is already an interpretation of a piece, so that somebody comes in and interprets it, and then comes a director and a cast, and then they interpret it again. So I felt it would perhaps make sense, because I speak very good Russian and I'm very close to the original, if we just give them one interpretation, mm -hmm. you know, that the translator and the director will be one. My intention is to give the audience get the audience closer to Chekhov rather than further, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and perhaps strip it a little bit of the convention, the kind of tradition that has accrued around it over the years of performances. So it's more to do with the way Chekhov is presented in England. I am Polish, very East European, so right. I am quite close to that part of the world and that culture, and I feel that the English Chekhov has become traditionally a little bit too genteel, a little bit too dusty and distant and kind of Victorian or Edwardian in feeling, all those linen suits and hats and uh, some of us, a kind of rom a romance of Russia. And I feel that it's much more about people, you know, much more about the, mm -hmm. uh, you and I and the way we understand life. What makes it so wonderful that you know, it is about very ordinary things, but it also asks very profound questions. It asks, what are we here for? What's our mm -hmm. life for? It is a story of people who, in at the height of happy summer, suddenly discover that they missed the boat, that the youth is gone, mm -hmm. or that the love that they could have had is not available to them. So it's kind of like an understand a moment of proximity of great happiness and the fact that you can't have it, you miss the boat. So in that way it's heartbreaking, but it is also a very, very funny play. And people always tend to have a problem with how is it funny when it is so sad, you know. Mm. And, and our attempt will be to kind of try to get close to that. What is it that makes it really funny without distorting the poignance of it. Mm -hmm. It really is a play about human nature that is universal. And in a way, there are, there are certain things that are astonishingly modern about Chekhov's perception of, for instance, what is happening to the planet, to nature as mm -hmm. well. So it's not just one aspect which makes it amazingly modern, but what makes it modern is really the way he looks at human beings, not to grant and really seeing them in their weakness mm -hmm. and in their pathos and in their desire to be happy. You know, trying to understand how to live to be happy. Mm -hmm. That's really what you could say. The story is very simple and very beautiful. Um, and I think there's nothing in the story that makes it uh, distant or, or strange to anybody. Mm -hmm. um, really, is a play about love and impossibility of, of uh -huh. it.